Now we're going to start from a bird's eye view and we're going to come down, 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 down. Okay, so as we start proceeding down the ladder, you'll understand more and more of what distributed computing, distributed programming, all this is. Remember, this is the USP of our course, short term and long term. Today, the most difficult thing to do in the world is distributed computing, work with clusters. So what we're going to teach you is the most difficult thing. None of this is available under Windows. None of this means none of this is available under Windows. So now let's start. I will cancel here. Now remember, unlike yesterday, we're going to do everything a little slower today. All right? So if you want, you can switch one line of machines off. Work together on one line. So you work, you work, you'll figure this out. If both of you work, what will happen? Amazon will come and give you an error. Now Amazon says that from my perspective or the management console's perspective, we have what is called EC2. That's one, which is what we learned. The second thing that we have is something called elastic map reduce. So the word is map reduce. Elastic means what? It can go up and down as per what I want. Now what is map reduce? Map reduce is a concept which started at Google. Google realized that they were handling the world's largest database. Now remember, the brightest people work at Google. Google is known to pay the highest salaries that any company in the world pays. In fact, they have outdone Microsoft when it comes to salaries. So at Google, they realized that they were dealing with unstructured data. What is the data that Google deals with? A URL, which is your website, AppTech, and then the web page contents. Their problem was, that whenever you write Vijay Mukhi and click on OK, the Google search engine should give you pages that say Vijay Mukhi. Now, if, that, if that's all that it did, it would be a normal search engine. What complicates the Google search is the order. So, if more pages link your page on Vijay Mukhi, it means what? It means more people like you or more people think you're good. So it becomes a complex, unstructured database that Google need this, needs to create. So what did Google do? They said, we won't use an RDBMS. We first need a way to store the data. So they invented something called the Google File System. That says, when you want to store one terabyte of data, you can't do what Windows does. Store it at one place. You need to store it at what? Multiple copies. So you need to build things like redundancy within the Google file system. So you have FAT, NTFS, various file systems. So you have what? The Google file system. Then Google said, we will not distribute code. The same code will run. What will be distribute? The data. Now this was a concept paper they came out with. So a group of open source guys got together and they said we'll implement this concept. And the implementation of the Google concept is called Hadoop. So Hadoop is an implementation of MapReduce. What is MapReduce? A way of solving problems. Now people realize that MapReduce is the, or Hadoop is the biggest problem. Why? Because what are we doing? We are saying that in the good old days, a database ran on one computer. That was the bottleneck. Now we are saying we wanted to run on 500 machines. So somebody has to now give you 500 machines? Where are you going to get 500 machines? Once you have 500 machines, you got to connect them together. Because they have to communicate as one. So you need a cable. Who is going to do that? Then you need software to coordinate all that. That software is called Hadoop. 
Now doing all this wasn't easy. So Amazon said, what is platform and software as a service? It's a bird's eye view of something. When we work with salesforce.com, we're not working with databases, are we? But when you're working with, with uh, SQL Server or SQL Azure, in Microsoft Azure, we're dealing with the database. We're dealing with computers on Amazon machine images when we work with Amazon. So what they said was something very, very simple. They said, we will abstract it away from you. So right now, what is Hadoop, what is MapReduce, what is Java, we're not supposed to know. In our minds, what we know is that Google has created a cluster. A cluster is a collection of machines, 5,000, 10,000, 50,000 cluster. So Amazon now is not infrastructure as a service, but it's beyond software as a service. <coughs> so Amazon has created this collection of machines for us. And what are they saying? Please run your code on it. Simple. So as the day goes by, we will show you what happens. But right now, we don't know, we don't own the computers. We don't own the cluster. We haven't connected it together. We haven't optimized it. We don't know what Hadoop looks like. We know nothing. It's, it's like saying we are writers. So we'll use Word to write a story. But the Word is written in .NET or C Sharp or VB or whatever it is, is not our problem. So we are now saying that when we click on Elastic Map Reduce, it gives you an abstraction. An Amazon view of map reduce. So in that sense, you can change your slides and put a higher layer also above software as a service. Right now we won't, but technically that's, that's where Amazon is. We are higher than software as a service. So now, to start with, let's look at one problem, two problems, which can be solved by Elastic map reduced or by map reduced.